long story short, aware of a lot of things that I wasn't for a really long time. I don't like to discuss those things because I take them very serious and I'm very private about it. But it definitely um, changed my whole perception and how everything in life is. But what's really trippy to me is... How can I put this into words? Like in my life, I know, okay. I know this sounds so dumb. This sounds so dumb, but this is just facts. Okay. This is a no territory. Nothing. <laughs> because like, okay. So like being like, like I made it to WWE or whatever people, when they would ask me questions, it'd always be like, Oh, who did you look up to? Who was your inspiration? Um, you know, what made you want to do it, whatever. And the truth always was, I just knew that was what I was supposed to do. And there was a lot of times I fell out of it and I wasn't like watching it because that's when I was chasing like boys and things like that. But, um, you know, it was like, I just knew. And so like, I just went with that flow and people used to just think I was so crazy because I'd be like, oh yeah, I'm supposed with confidence. I'd be like, this is what I'm supposed to do. Like I'm going to be doing, and they'd be like, oh, Shelly's crazy. She thinks da, 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 da. And like, I used to go to Disneyland. I don't think it's crazy. crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like I would go around with confidence. I'd just be like, oh yeah, yeah, I'm going to be there. And then people would just be like, okay, yeah, sure. And I remember I go to Disneyland all the time and I go to Snow White's um, wishing well and I'd always, I wish to be in WWF. I wish to be in WWF. And like, it was this whole thing and it became almost like this weird ritual. And it wasn't me being like this, for lack of a better term, just to be more general terms, like a narcissist, uh, self-absorbed, oh, it's all about me. I'm gonna make, it wasn't that at all. It was just right. like, and people would take it like that because I was so confident in it. But I it, I wasn't trying to be like a cocky ass bitch about it. I just knew, oh yeah, that's what's up. Like, and um, you know, so that's what happened. That's the end story is it did. And when it did happen, it was weird because when I was there, it wasn't like I was like, oh yeah, I finally made it. It was like, okay, now what's the next step? Because I knew this is where I'm supposed to be. You yeah, it's law of attraction type but it of. Like, but it's so crazy because in this day and age, I feel I see, especially online, there's a lot of, you know, make your affirmations. You can do anything. And I get that. But like, that's not what I was trying to do back then. It was like, I was literally just following the energy. Like, it was like, this is what you need to do. And that's why I got into modeling and acting because wrestling was very scarce back in the day here in the west coast so i was like well if i just go to sets and like talk about how i love wrestling people it'll make sense and that's what happened like a casting director remembered i wouldn't shut up about wrestling and so she put me in an independent film about wrestling and i met real wrestlers and lo and behold it, you know whatever so it's like but the thing was is it wasn't like oh i'm gonna manifest no offense to people that do this right zero zero i'm just seeing me it was like it wasn't like making a vision board i wasn't doing all these things and blah 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 it was like okay this is what i'm supposed to do so what do i need to do to get there because that's what i'm supposed to do i was the same way i was the same way i started watching wrestling i may have been 10 or 11 and my brothers had already been watching it for a couple of years they were a little bit younger than me I mean, my older siblings grew up in the 80s, so they would, like, beat me up when I was, like, a toddler, beat me up, right? Like, acting like they were Ric Flair or Hulk Hogan or Sting or something. So it was kind of already, like, something my family enjoyed. And then I wasn't allowed to go to Raw or SmackDown shows because I was a woman. I almost wasn't allowed to watch it, but I loved it, loved it. And my mom did not understand why. And that was a good three or four years of like a, an obsession. I wouldn't say unhealthy because it didn't ruin my life or anything, but I would come home and I would do homework to raw to SmackDown, you know, to sit there doing homework and watching it. And I knew by the time I was 12 or 13, I was like, I want to do this. I want to do this. I want to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. It was just that sureness that you're talking about. 
I completely understand what you're saying. It wasn't, I didn't believe, I didn't know anything about manifesting or law of attraction or affirmations or anything like that. All I knew is that when Ric Flair had a book signing, I went and got a book and he signed it for me. When Matt Hardy was doing an appearance where three people showed up, it was me and two other people to show up to that sign. Like I knew that I needed this in my peripheral vision because this is what I was meant to do. Funny enough, I don't know if I told the story yet, the way that I came upon wrestling, I always say that it found me because um, I was actually working at the strip club here in Charlotte and I met a local wrestler who, you know, you, you sit down and you talk to people, you get to meet t- tons of different characters working in the gentleman's club business. And he was like, oh, I'm a professional wrestler. And I was like, at that time, I like forgot about wrestling because I was so involved with my shoot life, you know, that I was like, oh, oh, you're a wrestler. Tell me about that. Didn't make money off this guy all night. Did not care. I just wanted information. He later invited me to a, a local show and I went by myself. It was like literally my last $10 that I had in my bank account. Went and I bought a ticket and it was actually the PWX show here in Charlotte when it was still at the rec center across high spots. And I went and that's where I met Caleb Conley. And from there I gave him my number and then we started dating. He told me he was a trainer and I knew three months in, he didn't want me to wrestle, but I was like, dude, teach me how to do this please teach me how to do this teach me how to do this and so in a way it found me because I wasn't seeking it out I must have been 20 or 21 but when I talk about my wrestling journey it doesn't start when I decided to start training or when I started to date a wrestler it started when I was in middle school obsessed telling my parents this is what I'm going to do period period and even if i forgot about it it still found a way towards me so this is i feel like my wrestling career what i wanted to fulfill with my life is just so above what i could control this is just something that i already knew what was going to happen and it was already set in the cards for me like uh i was just telling you shelly i got uh was hired as an extra on smackdown friday little 10 year old me knew that was going to happen Do you know what I'm saying? And I remember watching the SmackDown show, which, I mean, really, I was thinking, I was like, I knew, I knew this was going to happen. I knew this was going to happen. There was no ifs, ands, or buts. And I think, like your experience where people tell you, oh, she's nuts, she just wants this crazy stuff, whatever, this and that. I mean, up until maybe three years ago, my family still thought I was freaking crazy. They're like, you're too old for this. You got to think about more serious things, blah, blah, blah. To me, wrestling is serious. Wrestling is very serious to me. And my family doesn't know that I just got to like be in the background at SmackDown and get to do anything, which is totally fine. But I got really great experience. But I can't wait. I can't wait to call my brother, my older brother. He was the one that called me and was like, when are you going to quit this? You're never going to get there. And I'm like, I don't know anything else. This is all that I want to do. So I can't wait to tell him that. But like you, I knew that wrestling was for me. 